This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Excursion. It's a 2003 Ford Excursion. It's a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which is cloth. has a third row and rear air conditioning. It has 159,148 miles. It was a dealer uh, trade-in that we purchased in uh, uh, Anaheim. And brought it here. Did an inspection. And this is what we found out. First of all, it is now a nice SUV. Uh, what we did know, this is interesting. Um, we knew this before, but it was driven a few hundred miles, only a few hundred miles since 2017. Why? It had a bad turbo, wouldn't allow power to drive. So you couldn't drive because it didn't have a turbo that was working. Um, it also had a leaky oil, cool oil cooler, which was making a mess. Cheapskates didn't want to spend money. Retail for the work that we did is easily six grand. Mechanically, it's very sound now. Uh, what did we do to it? Uh, new bulletproof EGR cooler, new Ford oil cooler, new turbocharger, new radiator, new alternator, new rear, rear AC expansion valve, uh, and we charge the AC. Um, what else? Um, new serpentine belt, new Rotella oil and filter, and we sent it for a detail. Also, um, as normal with most diesels nowadays, it does not have a catalytic converter. If you're an Arizona buyer and you buy this, we will add $450 to the deal to get a catalytic converter put on at Leon's exhaust. It's uh, $375 for the cat, and they charge $75 to install it. It's the law. That's going to happen. If you're from out of state and you want it done, let us know at the time of purchase. We'll add $450 and we'll get it done for you. Okay? Um, I'll walk around and point this thing. Uh, it has been, at some point it was repainted, uh, probably a long time ago. Um, cosmetically, it looks all right. I mean, it's not a show car or anything. Uh, but it's got some lacquer checking, um, whatever. We decided that we were going to go 100% after the mechanics of it. Um, we don't build these things anymore. Um, they're hard to find. The motor's good. We just did the stuff that they were too cheap to do. Okay. Um, so the point of these videos is really not to sell the vehicle. Um, I say this in every video, by the way. Uh, the point is to make sure that you guys have information that's good enough to... Uh, make a good decision okay uh in a second i will uh, show you the carfax um i will show you uh, everything that we know about the vehicle i will take you under the hood i will take off the oil cap we'll look at uh, blow by anything that's there you will know about okay um we have plenty of people who will see this vehicle excursions don't last long at all so selling this vehicle is not a problem the problem comes is if we tell you it's A when it's really B, all right? And we're not doing that, all right? We don't do drama. So um, we give you a huge photo gallery so you can really scope out the individual shots. We give you this video. In a second, we'll go on a drive. We'll try all the window locks and door locks and everything. Um, and uh, we encourage you to pour over everything so that you know what you're doing um, because nothing's left out, all right? And it's 108 today. Might be a record today for uh, today. All right, let's see how many miles we got here. We've got 159, 159, 159, 159,159 miles. Um, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. This is a nice rig now. Really nice rig. All right, as promised, here is your uh, Carfax. There's your VIN. 60 4x4 excellent condition which it is for an 03 it is uh history of events affecting this vehicle's value they blend the carfax and the kelly blue book carfax comes with a value of 15350 which is i in my opinion is really low considering it's got all that uh new, new turbo bulletproof egr cooler ford oil cooler that stuff increases the value of this thing exponentially um there's the uh vin for the carfax no accidents, no damage reported. Guaranteed, no major title problems. Okay. So I was born in Nevada, then went to uh, Indio, it looks like. Indio area. Then it made its way to LA. And that's that. See where, see where it says 159,056 miles in 2017 auto auction. And now it's got 159. 159 so it's got like 100 miles more that's because everyone was too stupid or too cheap to do what needed to be done now it's done uh here's the title 
that was signed over to us. There's the VIN. Um, obviously, I blocked out the last owner. It was a uh, I-10 Toyota trade-in, okay, with 159,148. So it's been driven 11 miles. You can't, you couldn't have driven it before. It just limped. It was uh, pretty lame. Um, well, I'll show you the new two, new turbo when we go into the hood. Sparkling new turbo. There's your uh, Ford stamp on the uh, fender. So this is an original fender. We did put a new battery in on this side. Stickers where they belong. Ford stamp where it belongs on the hood. Ford stamp on the fender. There's a new turbo, brand new turbo. Okay. No blow by at all. Beautiful. And that's a new uh, radiator too. Okay. Oh, I locked the windows. God, God I have a bad habit of doing that. All right, well, at least you know that the window lock works. Watch. Oh, I need to stop doing that. There's your window up and down. Power door locks. It's an XLT with power seats on both sides, which is a little bit rare. Up, down, back tilt forward, and down, up, down. You do have a manual in there. Back seat there. AC controls, it is blowing nice and cold back here, which is critical because it's 108 in the old Pueblo today. Just sucks. We've had a terrible monsoon season. We've had below an inch of rain. We should have like five or six by now. But it's melting the COVID. It's pretty interior on this thing. Really good shape. Which is really what it's about in one of these things, right? People moving. Okay, let's see, door locks. Okay. Mirrors out and in and up and down. Other side out in. Up and down, tilt wheel. There we go. See forward, back, up, down, tilt up, tilt down, tilt up, tilt down. Time for some air conditioning, thank God. And it's freaking hot. I got two more of these to do. It's like 11 in the morning right now. It's gonna be a long freaking day. My seatbelt on here. All right. I am told that this aftermarket radio doesn't power up. Um, we never do radios, by the way. You can go to Best Buy, get whatever kind of Bluetooth you want, install by them for like 250, two and a quarter, um, like 400, and it, you know, would get you a great system with speakers. So there's no reason for us to do that because everyone has their own preferences. Here's uh, power pedals up and down. Do, do, do. Let's see, what else we got? Toe on and off, right? Go to neutral, four low, so four by four low range, drive. Get this gate to open here. That's definitely four low, that'd be granny gear. And reverse and four low. All right, neutral, now we'll go to four high. Low range goes away. Yeah, now we're a little quicker. We're in four high. All right, in reverse. Perfect. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to two wheel drive. And we'll go for a ride. All right. First of all, I told you about the cat. 
If you buy it, in, if you're an Arizona buyer, that's gonna happen. Um, if you do come to Tucson to drive it home, you'll also pay um, your state tax rate, whatever that is. Could be zero, could be 10, depends on where you're from. Um, plus our city tax of 2.7% here in Tucson and a $250 dock fee. So if you come here to drive it home, you will pay your state tax plus our city tax of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. Um, if you're from Arizona, we're gonna add 450 for sure. Um, if you're from out of state and you want a cat, let us know early so we can get it done. That'll add 450, all right? Um, if you're uh, gonna pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Um, no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, uh, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file and mail it to you. We even scan in the uh, envelope, we mail it in. Um, you will have the vehicle shipped to you. You already have the title in the mailbox. By the time the vehicle shows up by your shipper, you'll just take the title and the excursion down to motor vehicles in your state and get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let us know early. I can help. Uh, we can either give you phone numbers to call or we can do it for you, okay? Or somewhere in the middle. Um, just let us know. Everything needs to be let us know early what you need to do. Um, as far as the cat's concerned, as far as shipping's concerned, so we can help and you can get your excursion quickly, okay? Um, what else? Um, buh, 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 buh. Deposits, $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Um, very important. Uh, excursions like this do not grow on trees. They have, they have the bulletproof package and uh, a new turbo. There are none. This is, this is the one. All right, um, so make sure you get it in. Somebody's going to buy a hell of a car. Uh, SUV, I should say. Um, last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I say it every single time uh, I have for thousands of videos. We don't have a bottle of water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to hang out in and have lattes served to you by an attendant, you know, with scones and all kinds. They got all that crap at the auto mall about a half a mile east of here. And every time you buy a vehicle from them, you're paying for it. That's built into the check, all right? Um, they also know there that if you buy this vehicle from them and you uh, uh, have something break in it, you're gonna bring it in there and say, uh, fix my excursion. And they're gonna fix it because they also charge you for that when you buy it. There's a reason they are thousands and thousands of dollars more expensive than we are, all right? We are not fixing your vehicle. You're the owner on day one. We give you the information that you need. We tell you what's going on so you can be the owner on day one. If that doesn't work for you, we are definitely not the place to buy because we're not writing checks for anything from the second you're the owner on, okay? Um, we do uh, we do six O's for a living. We've been doing six O's, uh, our, our main topic for a decade. And when I drive one, I know what I'm doing. By the way, this is what six, what our, our between our city and our state tax, it's 8.7%. This is what we're paying for. Guess what party runs Tucson? Just guess, it's not hard. Anyway, uh, back to the truck, or the excursion, I should say. Um, anyway, we just want people to know how we operate. This is a hell of a car. I, I drive these things all the time. This is what I do. Um, I love the way this thing drives. Um, it runs great, looks great. You know, um, it's not perfect. It has been repainted. There is some lacquer checking. I encourage you to pour over the photographs so you know what you're buying. Radio does not work. We don't deal with radios. Air is blowing ice cold, or I'd already be running to the office right now um, <laughs> because it is freaking brutal out right now. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.